Guys, you're not gonna believe me what I got here for you today. It's something that I think could have won a golden demon. It's our blow my mind level. Can you can you see? Can you can you can you just Let's take a minute to just absorb the view because it's so perfect. The miniature is big and so is the amount of time that the work on this miniature <laughs> took and like it have it has so many things that you could just watch and not get enough like let's start with the armor as you can see there are lots of different colors on the armor it's not like one color it's about five colors to to get this effect like it's glowing, it's shining but it's matte it's just wow it's more visible in here you can also see the reddish shades in here like also non-metallic metals all over the miniature like look at this gold just it's it's perfect it's it's like shining and it's all over the miniature here on the legs too the weapons are made with non-metallic metals no surface on this miniature is made with metallics and what i am proud of is that every surface on this miniature is so well done because like when you paint so big miniature that has so many surfaces you usually want to focus on enhancing uh, the biggest parts that is that are most visible but here, on this model, the artist made sure that every single detail is painted so beautifully. Like, even up here, you can see the rainbow non-metallic under the main parts. It's just so, so, so detailed. It's just amazing. I, I can comprehend what I'm, <laughs> what I'm seeing. What is more, this miniature, uh, all of the parts of the miniature are magnetized. So. You can detach most of the parts, hand. Your weapons. You can also switch. The type of the weapon. So it makes a different damage on a battlefield and the miniature itself it moves because it's also magnetized but it's not the best part for me, the best part is, is the part where the free hands appear and the free hands are, are all over the miniature. 
like for real they are all over here maybe you would think that these little signs are the cause no they are not these are all free hands the, the banner is made with all free hands free hand in here the cloak between the legs and the hood is covered with free-handed signs and marks the pauldrons I can't when I first saw the pauldrons I couldn't believe what I'm seeing because there are free-handed battlefields this is the first one This is the second one. And actually my favorite part is the cloak. Look at this. It's unbelievable. It's just so good, so pretty and so amazing. Just the way it's done the appearance that it makes it makes the miniature even more outstanding like if you watch the miniature from front from up front it already looks amazing right it's just it has a wow effect <laughs> But when you turn it around and you see the cloak, it gets on a, the whole different level. It's just... That is why I think it could have won a golden demon, because just look at it. Just look how amazing it looks. What I like about this commission is also effect on the golden parts. These blues and greens and maybe even violets. It's like a used gold effect. Like when you use a gun for a long, long time, it gets burned. And this looks like just... ...have been used. Look up here. The greens, the oranges. I love it. What do you think? Would you play with that miniature? It even has some converted marine down on the base with intestines outside of the body and blood all over him. How do you like it? Also, just can we just take a second to appreciate those little flowers? It makes the miniature even more special. The leaves on the ground, the grass and those flowers. It looks just special. Thanks for watching guys, bye!